everybody and thanks for joining me. In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about how you can use Google Drawing Tools to add a drop shadow effect on text and to insert clip art into your Google Docs. Now, this is actually something that a lot of people miss when they move from using Microsoft Word into using Google Docs. They miss the ability to add all these little pieces of clip art and add these dynamic effects and if you're willing to put in a little extra work it's worth it and plus you've got to remember with Google Docs you can share your documents and publish them to the web which is something that's not as easy to do with Microsoft so at the top of my page here this is a flyer that I'm going to be passing out for professional development and what I want to do is since this background I've already made it a little bit dark and I've got black text on a dark background. I want to make this a drop shadow effect with white text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this text and cut it from the page. And I'm going to use my Google Drawing Tools that you find in the Insert menu. So if I click Insert and do Drawing, then it opens up a dialog box where I can add any shapes or text or images or lines to my artwork however I want to. In this case, since I've already copied or cut my text from my page, all I have to do is right click and paste it. And I'm going to make this a little bit larger so I can work with it. And in this case, what I want is white text with a black shadow. Now, to edit white text on a white or a transparent background, that's going to be a little bit difficult. So I'm going to save myself a little bit of grief here. And I'm going to change my background temporarily to a white or a, to a dark background like my page. And so now I've got my text and I'm going to highlight and copy it again and I'm going to paste it on the page. But instead of leaving it black, like I said, I want white text with a black shadow. So I'm going to highlight this new box of text and I'm going to go up here to the text tools and change the text color to white. Now, since this was the last object I created, it is actually the top item on my drawing. And so I have white on top and black in the back. If that's not the way you want it, if you want to move it around, you can always right click on the text box and you can change the order by telling it to send to back or send backward or forward or to front, whatever you need. But in this case, this is exactly the way I want it. And I just now need to position my text so that it appears that the black text is a shadow background to the white text. So I'm going to have to do a little maneuvering here. I'll move my white text to the top of the page. And then I'll simply just position my black text so it appears that it is a drop shadow for my white text. And again, it's, it's just a little bit hairy to get it done, but eventually you get there and there we go. So I'm going to group these two objects together. I just highlight around both of them and then right click and click group. And of course, don't forget before I put it back on my page, I'm going to right click, change my background back to transparent, and then I'll hit save and close. And there we go. I've got my object right there on the page where I want it. And of course, when you add Google Drawings to a Google Doc, what it's going to do is it's going to take up space on the page. And so in order to keep your tables like I have here below and everything in the proper position, I'm going to click Wrap Text so it doesn't take up any spaces, line spaces in my paragraph on my document. And then I can position my table wherever I need it to be. So now that I have my header where I want it and it looks the way I want it. Now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of clip art to the page and I don't want to go copy clip art off the web necessarily uh, for copyright purposes although you can find a lot of copyright free items on the web. I want to just create my own and take the guesswork out of it and so I'm going to go up here to again insert and choose Google Drawing and don't forget, you do have line tools and shape tools here, and so you can do quite a bit with this if you just use your imagination. Now in this case, I'm going to make a couple of items. I'm going to make a camera and what looks like a tablet to my flyer, since this is a technology flyer. And so I'm going to add a rectangle shape, and I want this shape to have the same uniform color for the line, for the outline, and for the fill. And so I'm going to click on fill color 
and you can use any of the colors here just click on one to add one or you can click on custom and you can add your own hex or RGB values if you want to in this case I'm going to add my own and of course once you add it in it appears there and you just click OK and I also want the line to be the same color and since I've already added a custom color it will appear here and I just click on it so there I have my rectangle and then I'm going to add a little rounded rectangle to make this look like a button at the top of the camera and of course add the same custom fill and custom outline and then I'll go up here and I'll add a little circle into my shape to make it look like I have a lens on the camera and it already happens to be white and I'll just move it around as you can see I have centering tools here to let me know when the two shapes are centered with one another and I'll make the outline the same and the fill be white and then I'm gonna add a little bit of text to that and then I'll highlight that I'm gonna make that match the font on my header by using the same font and I'll also make that font color the same as the shape. There we go. And like I said earlier, if you want all these items to be grouped together, you just highlight around all of them and then right click and click group. Now, of course, with shapes, if you don't want them to just be straight as they are vertically and horizontally, you can also use this little rotate tool at the top and you can just take it and make it a little bit askew. I'm going to move that over here. And so I'm going to walk you through that again and in this case I'm going to make another shape and in this case it's going to be one that looks like a tablet so I'll just use a rounded rectangle here okay and we'll add another rectangle around that And so it's pretty simple and of course now that rectangle actually needs to be behind the other one so I can right click and choose order and send to back so now that one's behind the other one I'm going to make this one white fill with a white line and make this one a red fill but I want it to be a certain color so again change my hex values here and if you don't know a lot about hex values if you have a certain color that you want you can always google it and look up hex values for colors they're pretty easy to find on the web and just enter those the way you want and of course down here I want another little circle shape so I can put my little home button on my tablet and I'm gonna make that a white fill and a white line and then I'll just center that with everything else there you go I've got a tablet so it's pretty simple like I said to add anything that you want to and just create your own clip art very easy to do it just takes a little extra work and plus you know it adds a little bit of originality and authenticity to what you're doing so take the extra time it's very simple to do and you'll be much happier with your results I think so I'll change that and there we go we've got our items and again group those together right click group and of course I can use the rotate tool to make that a little bit askew and move it over here and of course I've got my clip art now and I can add it to my page just by clicking save and close so when you're finished you can resize those items and get them exactly the way you want them to be on the page well I hope this gives you an idea of how you can use the Google drawing tools to insert clip art or drop shadow to your flyers or your documents and if you have questions, please feel free to visit my blog or my website or just rewind this video and watch it again. Thanks for joining me.